Hello everyone! Welcome once again to my channel. This is Janice May and today I will be teaching you how to make the necklace that I am wearing. So these are made out of the 10 millimeter paper beads um, that I carry in my online shops, janismay.etsy.com. And I also just made the this earrings to match with and it came out really earthy looking. So that will be for next video. I will be using pearls so you can see the result uh, using different beads because you can use pearls, you can use crystals, wood beads. So this is the ne necklace I made using the 10 millimeter paper beads. I think it came out really nice. And I also made it in pearls using Swarovski pearls. So I think this also came out very pretty. So let me go over the materials with you. First off, you need um, a beading wire. So I'm using this 0.14. Um, you can probably use one that's um, thinner. And you need 26 inches, two 26 inches of the beading wire. And the rest of the beads are the 10 millimeter pearls, which is this one. And you need the four different colors of the three millimeter. If you just want to go for one color, that's fine. And these are the accent beads, the four millimeter accent beads. You need the clasp and the ring, the jump ring. And you need this. It's called clam tips and the crimp bead. Okay, so let me just go over these things with you. So this is the clasp and this is your clam tips or crimp cover. And these are the accent beads, the one in the middle right there. That's the four millimeter beads and then the outer row is four beads, four three millimeter outer row, and the inner row is just three of the three millimeter beads. So that way it curves like this to form into a necklace that will fit your neck beautifully. So let's start. To begin, you will take your two strand of beading wire and you will put this through the crimp bead. Both wires go into the crimp bead like so. You will take your chain nose pliers and you will flatten this like that. So now it's flat, it's secure, and you will just trim this down close, really close, and then you will take the ends of the two wire, let me just even this tip, and then you will Put this through the clam tip. The clam tip looks like this and it has a hole in the middle. So it goes through that hole in the middle and then you pull it through and, and there you have it. Now this will sit inside and you will close the clam tip. You will close the cover gently, gently, 
like so and now it's on there the loop that you can see here that is where your clasp go so you see how simple it is and now we can start beading again gently gently before we start beading i just want to explain something uh, some beads if, even if they say three millimeter they are smaller than other make like Swarovski three millimeter is a lot smaller than the far polish three millimeter so um, since I'm using Swarovski instead of the four beads I'm adding one more so four beads on the outside for this necklace and three beads on the inside but with the Swarovskis I'm going to be using five beads on the outside and four on the in inside so don't limit yourself by using just the same uh, size beads you can always experiment as to what work best so that's what I'm going to be doing so we can start beading so first you need to put one four millimeter bead and then we will do five three millimeter on the right strand just gonna put five i really have no pattern here i'm just picking up beads Oh, there's two greens, four and five. And on this other side, on the other strand, you need to put one, three mm and one pearl bring them down and you will now crisscross the two wire into a four millimeter bead so this is what i call the accent bead because it can be something that will pop the color of your pearls Okay, you crisscross. There you go. And now, five beads on the outside, the inside would be one bead less. So we will have four on the inside. Two, three, and four now you will reverse now that you will have one bead one three mm and one pearl you crisscross let's use this color I think this color is so fall and would be pretty. So there you have it. You continue doing that until you have your desired length which is about 16 inches. It should just be choker type. Uh, so it lays down nice. So we are now almost finished. I find that if I have 29 of the 10 mm beads, uh, it fits me perfectly. It's like um, 16 inches, I believe. So I am doing 29 beads right now. This is 
One, two, three, four, five, six. This is 27, so we will continue. So now we need uh, the one bead and one 10 mm on this side. And the in inner strand would be four of the three mm so again there is no rhyme or reason for the colors here but i'm kind of happy that it turned out nice i love the combination it's very much like fall so four on this side because the beads are so small it's hard to pick them up <laughs> i gotta be honest i'm like all thumbs here and then you will crisscross on the four millimeter so let's take this olive color oops And then we will end so it. So now we are going to end our necklace the same way we started. So you need to uh, put the four millimeter bead on there, the last bead. And then you need to thread the two wires through the crimp cover like so. Next the crimp bead and take it down all the way down inside the the cover you will then take your chain nose and put the crimp bead in between the chain nose do it like this bring it down like so I'm going to trim the wires close it gently and then take your clasp do the same thing put it through like that and fix it and there you have it there's your finish necklace you can make several of this it's really fun you can try different colors different beads I hope you like this tutorial today. Thanks for watching.